It's not the usual ballet audience, although luminaries such as Cuba's legendary ballerina, Alicia Alonso, was among the honored guests. But with tickets going for only 20 Cuban pesos, about 91 cents U.S., the fans attending the Royal Ballet performance in Havana's Garcia Lorca Theater were a diverse social mix. And for those who didn't manage to snag one of these bargain tickets, an outdoor screen had been set up just down the street from the theater, in front of a replica of the U.S. Capitol building. The steps leading up to this tourist attraction would fill with ballet fans once the show started. The five performances, a first for England's Royal Ballet in Havana, are not a money-making deal. Productions like this are expensive to mount. Ballpark figure, you're talking um, a million pounds. You know, if you include everything, I mean, certain things are, are happening in kind, but really you're talking a, a million pounds. O'Hare says 13 sponsors for these performances came through because of the prestige of Cuba's national ballet and Cuban dancer Carlos Acosta dancing for the past 11 years with the Royal Ballet. Well, I would say that Carlos Acosta is one of the most important dancers in the world today. I think he's had a huge impact around the world. I think his influence on young male dancers is enormous. He talked to us about Cuba and what dance is to Cuba. And we've been trying for years to find a way to be able to make this visit possible. You know, they, Cuba would never be able to afford the Royal Ballet because it's a third world country, no money. So the Royal Ballet decided that uh, give this present and this gift to, to the Cuban people. Despite the heat inside the theater, fans wildly applauded the Royal Ballet. But it was those watching on the outdoor screen who got the biggest surprise when Carlos Acosta and his co-dancers came out to take their bows and shake hands. It's really amazing because you know, the thing is that they appreciate ballet and art so much here that, uh, you know, you forget uh, that it's a, a ballet event at all. It looks like uh, the final of the World, World Cup in soccer, you know. I mean, and everybody is just incredible, and, and everybody from the Royal Ballet also says the same. They, they really completely amazed, you know, that they, they were had this such a, such a reception. Three acts from 8.30 p.m. till midnight. But it never occurred to anyone to slip out. From the minimalist chromo to a month in the country, people just applauded wildly as the dancers' leaps and whirls brought Cuba and England a bit closer together. Portia Siegelbaum in Havana for CBS News.